So I thought today I would just quickly talk you through me all new singing and dancing added gravel tuned. It is the 2022 model. I bought this bike to run as my winter bike, uh, which you've already seen with its mud guards on and all of its winter setup. Uh, today, however, I've got it set up with its gravel tires on. So I just thought I'd walk you through me set up. Up front, we've got the Crescent IC SL bars running the Wahoo Rome head unit. Uh, it is full color. It is the version two, which I would like to thank Wahoo for sending us one of these. It, uh, it came massively and handy over the festive 500 period. Uh, I am running standard road bars mainly because I just prefer the shape. I'm not a massive fan of the look of the flared bar. I am running a slightly wider bar than I would on my road bike. I am running 40s centre to centre, whereas on the road bike I run 38s centre to centre. Just gives us a little bit more control off road. As you can see up the front there, I am missing a, an aero cap. I just haven't quite trimmed the steerer down to its exact length yet. Once I get that dialed in, that'll get trimmed down and a nice cover goes over there just to finish the look of the bike. I'm running a 49 centimetre. It is the extra small. It's full carbon. It's running on Scott's HMX carbon. The weight of the bike in total is around about eight and a half to nine kilo mark. I have got a Syncross frame protection kit fitted to this. It just protects the frame from any sort of scuffs, damage that happens normally in transit rather than actual from riding. Just want to make it last that little bit longer. Touch points. On the saddle, I run Belcara saddles. It is the Syncross Belcara 1.0 with the full carbon rail. Nice and light, nice and comfortable. It is on a Syncross carbon seat post. I do have an Exposure Tracer R light mounted permanently on it. I just find these work and seem to last forever. Wheels, I'm running the DT Swiss GRC wheels. Uh, they are the top of the range gravel wheel, the DT Swiss do. A real nice wide rim profile, which gives the tire a really nice shape. I'm running 45 mil Schwabel G1R tires in tan wall, because as we all know, tan wall is lighter and faster. I am running them tubeless and I run them at about 25 to 30 PSI. What I will say about the G1Rs is that they don't offer a great deal of grip when you get any sort of wet mud type gravel. They're really quite slippy. Uh, they're very, very fast rolling, very, very fast on hard pack. And uh, the roll really quite nicely on the road for such a wide volume tire. I'm running the SRAM Rival ETAP Axis group set. It is SRAM's entry level group set. And if I'm honest, it just works incredibly well. I love the fact that there's no wires and it's all wireless. Up front, chain ring sizes are a 4835. Uh, I am running a SRAM rival chain set. Uh, I am going to upgrade it to a power meter at some point, but uh, I just haven't had time yet. I'm running the cheapest of the cheap Shimano pedals. I run them on pretty much all of my bikes just because they work and they're cheap. So at the back, uh, gearing wise on my gravel bike, I have a 3610 rear cassette. I'm running 160 mil rotors on rival hydraulic discs. Uh, the rotors themselves are SRAM red. Very, very expensive. Not really required for this bike, but it was all I could get my hands on at the time. The bike has numerous mountain points for little bags and whatnots that the gravel rider seems to require. Uh, down to me bottle cages tools up front i've got the same cross cylinder which inside there has all my inner tubes spares uh, tire plugs because i am running the tires tubeless then behind there we've got the taylor bottle cage which has an integrated tool hidden inside the bottle cage i will leave links to the whole of this spec and how you can buy these little items and the tool cylinder I just find that's mega handy. You can put it on and off different bikes. It just makes life easy. At the rear, I've got a Syncross mounted saddle bag. It mounts directly to the saddle. Uh, there is two bolts underneath and two small bolts and it just bolts straight in. There is other attachments. You can run lights, GoPro mounts, fenders. I'll probably 
take that off and mount the Go, the Syncross GoPro mount to allow us to run my GoPro and other cameras whilst riding the bike. So that is me Addict Gravel tuned, uh, all set up to go and ride gravel. So I suppose on that note, let's go and ride. But most of all, now daft. <laughs>